Rebecca. My age, you know I've been to a lot of doctors. <laughs> Healthcare partners, they really care. They're concerned about your health. They're all the best. I am Roberta, and I am a healthcare partner. Visit hcpnv.com to hear my story. News 46 is brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For more information, call 751-0349. News is also brought to you by Dr. Richter from Compassionate Care for Women, providing personalized quality health care for women at every stage of life. Tonight on News 46, KPVM celebrates 16 years. An assembly is held at the middle school. And job seekers get ready for tomorrow's job fair. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Rick Vale and Monique Mitchell. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Thursday, September 12, 2013. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. KPVM spoke to a landlord whose name we have decided not to reveal regarding yesterday's landlord-tenant dispute about a septic system that appears to be in disrepair. KPVM spoke to two tenants yesterday at their rental home located on the north side of town. The tenant Charlotte Martin and Darvis Johnson had been in court in which the judge had ruled in favor of the landlord who had apparently shown evidence of the completion of a repair of a septic system at the small motor home. The landlord believes that the tenants have broken the toilet and system after the initial repair. He also stated that they delayed the notification of the damage to him and told News 46 today that he has sought a 24-hour eviction notice as well as a 30-day no cause eviction notice. The tenants have apparently not paid this month's rent, he says, and admittedly stated to News 46 that they have had previous problems with landlords in the past, which have resulted in court proceedings. He also said that he is extremely concerned over the dogs on the property and that he thinks they're not cared for. He said that he believes that he did all he could for Charlotte and Darvis and he is anticipating them moving off his property. Charlotte and Darvis deny all of these allegations. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Well, KPVM TV and Rage, Rave Digital Audio Recording Studio is celebrating its 16 year anniversary today. KPVM started its humble beginnings inside a garage here in Pahrump. The the visionary owners, Vern and Rhonda Van Winkle, now offer four channels of quality programming from their audio and video recording studios, local news, and national quality advertising for small and large businesses. This includes commercial and corporate videos, as well as a full range of marketing options for every need. The vision in the beginning for Vernon is, you know, he just wanted to get started. It was really difficult for him to get started. Um, the town kind of fought him and, and, and the powers that be fought him and he really worked very, very hard for about a year to get the license and to get everybody's okay to start the station. And so back then, you know, we had some pretty simple programming, a lot of really older programming. Mm -hmm. And you know what, the folks at Pahrump still loved it and the advertisers and businesses in Pahrump still supported it and it's because of their initial support mm -hmm. that we have been able to grow and grow and grow to where we are today and now you know it's exciting we have um, four channels yeah. instead of one mm -hmm. and our main channel you know people can see on three different channels so they have the original channel 41 we're on cable 12 and then the digital 46.1 and that was an interesting time for us because uh, the government forced everybody to go digital so it was kind of like opening up a brand new tv station because you had to have all brand new equipment brand new transmitter so during a, a hard economy yes by the way. that's what's made it extremely difficult because really you're at about a half staff and working with you you have twice as much work for half as much money because you have to do 
what they can afford. And so you have to adjust your prices just like everybody else has had to do. So, but yet the bills remain the same. So it makes it very tough, but we have been hanging in there. Thank God for our advertisers because uh, it's because of them that we're able to keep, to keep functioning and we're able to bring you um, the programming and news that, that the public wants. That's really something of a feat to stay in business when so many businesses failed. I mean, successful businesses that uh, were doing well when the economy was doing well and to be able to keep a TV station open when people cut back on their own advertising because they couldn't put out any money. Exactly. And the pool here is only so big yeah. and you have this magazine and that magazine and this TV station, that TV station, you know, it just kind of all builds up. So the advertisers do the best that they can to support everybody. Um, but, you know, statistically speaking, the best three forms of advertising for your, for you businesses is either television, radio, or, um, you know, another major form of advertising is, is newspaper. So maybe if they um, tear themselves away from some of the little things that maybe they don't need to be doing and focus on ma your major forms of advertising, it'll help them be more successful and spend their advertising dollars a little more wisely so that it's a win-win for everybody. They're getting their money back in, in uh, product and uh, customers, and we're getting um, a plus, too, because they're advertising with us. Happy anniversary, KPBM! To find out more, you can call us here at KPVM TV. The number is 727-9400. To watch the entire Rhonda Van Winkle interview, go to KPVM's YouTube page. And folks, as we head into our first break, here's Mr. Movie Phone. I'm Mr. Movie Phone. Summer may be over, but as far as movies go, that's good news. We'll kick off the fall movie season with my weekend movie preview next. This portion of the news is brought to you by Children's Dentistry of Pahrump, specializing in sedation dentistry, now accepting adult patients. Call now for free IV sedation with dental implant, 751-2184. Happy weekend, everybody. I'm Mr. Movie Phone with your weekend movie preview. Well, things have been pretty quiet at the movies the last couple of weeks, but that may all change because the haunting isn't over. In Insidious, Chapter 2. Is there something wrong with Daddy, Mom? The Lambert family thought they left evil behind, but now the spirits are still after them as they have to uncover the terrifying secret that keeps them dangerously connected to the supernatural world. Back for more are Patrick Wilson and Rose Byrne. The real deal? Well, you know how sometimes you wonder if your kids are really your own? Well, my daughter's line for Insidious 2 was Insidious 2 is in hideous poo. Yep, that's my girl. I'm out. All right, the mob has met its match in the family. Welcome to France. Try to fit in. I'm getting tired of finding you a new place to live every 90 days. Robert De Niro is a mobster turned informant. His family moves to France under the witness protection program, and they find blending in is harder than it looks. Also starring is Michelle Pfeiffer and Tommy Lee Jones. The real deal? Look, I get that De Niro and the rest have bills to pay, but the only thing here that needs to be taken out is the family. I'm out. A better bet this weekend might be the limited releases. Wajda is about a Saudi Arabian girl pushing boundaries in pursuit of her dreams. And Touchy Feely is about a massage therapist who suddenly has an aversion to physical contact. That's an occupational problem. Now remember, for your showtimes, your tickets, my six-second review, so much more. Go to moviephone.com or tweet me right at Six Second Reviews. So have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you at the movies. That's a wrap. Welcome back to News 46. Scientists now have strong evidence that NASA's Voyager probe has crossed this important border, making history as the first human-made object to leave the heliosphere. The heliosphere is the magnetic boundary separating the solar system's sun, planets, and solar wind from the rest of the galaxy. And folks, the lavish estate that was home to King of Las Vegas, Wayne Newton, is on the market for a mere $70 million. The 40-acre property several miles southeast of the Las Vegas Strip was listed by Sotheby's on Monday. Newton lost the property in a bankruptcy. A few members of the royal family of Saudi Arabia have inquired about the property. Newton's Casa de Shenandoah property was home to flamingos, South African penguins, and Arabian horses. The 71-year-old Newton, his family, and a menagerie of exotic animals moved in June to a downsized Las Vegas estate on about 20 acres. 
An assembly was held this morning at Rosemary Clark Middle School. Well, almost 900 kids here at Rosemary Clark Middle School attended an assembly here this morning. Three different assemblies were held all morning long called Dream Dare Do. They focused on anti-bullying, setting goals for yourselves, and standing up for others' goals and dreams, as well as just plain manners. We're going to speak to Principal Tim Wombaker. Basically, we, we try and do this every year. It's a three-screen assembly, and it brings in music and, and different things from the movies. But it, it teaches, if you will, a lesson of character education. It talks about bullying. It talks about reaching for your goals and, and standing up for what you believe in and working hard to achieve those goals. Do you think that uh, teaching these kind of skills is something that maybe we haven't seen in uh, the past and that this is an important part of the school educational program now? You know, I, I, think it, I think it's being taught. Um, the hard part is is that a lot of students, I had one student as she was leaving, she's like, I've been trying to uh, go with my dreams, but it hasn't reached yet. I'm like, sweetie, you're only in sixth grade. Um, they got to keep working for it. So the thing is that um, we need to make sure that we emphasize to dream and what it's going to take to get there. So not just say, okay, you have a dream, that's great. We got to make sure that we um, lead them to where they need to go. So if you want to be a, a scientist, okay, you need to be ready to take more math and science in high school and then in college and, and kind of set some future goals. But if kids are never told how to get there, um, a lot of times they'll struggle getting there. As I mentioned in the assembly, we have this program that we're implementing this year. It's called Sprigio, and uh, we paid for it. It's an online bullying thing where, where students, um, parents, neighbors, friends, if, if they see something coming on, uh, a situation that might be be causing a problem, a bullying situation, they can get online through our website um, and I'll send home a thing uh, in the mail and, and do an auto call with parents, but uh, they can access it on phone and they just fill out a, an online form and it's sent directly to the administration. And it's we're excited about that because it gives the kids an opportunity and, and the parents an opportunity to, if you will, anonymously report something, um, but it's still a serious situation so we can take care of it immediately. One of the things that Principal Tim Wombaker has always made as his goal, not only here at Rosemary Clark Middle School, but at his previous schools that he's been at, is making sure that kids show manners, anti-bullying, and of course, reaching their dreams and goals. They're gonna be continuing that here at Rosemary Clark Middle School. If you wanna find out more about Sprigio, you can give Rosemary Clark Middle School a call. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Well, folks, don't go anywhere. We're going to have more local news coming up right after this break, so please keep it here.